This story is called The Property Brothers by John K. Mills. While Larry and Helga were trying to find something to give their neighbor Sarge, they had encountered Val the Hobbit selling salesman who sold the five Property Brothers. No one liked people being mean to the Hobbits, so they decided to kill Val and free the Hobbits. I think I remember something about Val selling Hobbits and calling them Property 1, Property 2, etc. Here's Larry and Helga. How again do people get on top of this mountain when there's no stairwell? When there's no elevator? When there are no wizards? When there's no conceivable way for any of these characters to get up here? I call shenanigans as the Property Brothers and Helga the Headbutter completely demolishes poor Val. While the hobbits Fred, George, Greg, Richard, and Bob and their new friend Randy the Clubber were traveling to Larry's house to thank him for freeing them, King Philip attacked them and kidnapped them. So hold on. Their names are Fred, George, Greg, Richard, Bob, and the Clubber's name is Randy. I will... I'm not going to remember so many names so quickly. I'm hoping the author writes the names down multiple times in the story to help me remember them. King Philip is here, and he's going to attack the Property Brothers featuring Randy the Clubber as these Property Brothers get demolished by King Philip's Zweihander? Zweihander? His giant two-handed sword. I called it a claymore. You could also call it a bastard sword. It is a hand and a half. And that's actually not quite a hand and a half. That's way more. That's a lot longer than hand and a half. That's a two-handed sword. When King Philip was transporting Fred, George, Richard, Greg, Bob, and Randy, they revolted. And suddenly, lightning rained from the sky, leaving a single squire, which they quickly killed. Hold on. How am I going to do this? There's so many units. There's so many units. How am I supposed to- My computer's gonna blow up. So according to the story, lightning rained from the sky. So I need to, to, to manufacture that now. Wonderful. I honestly don't know if this is going to work. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna hit everything. I don't know if I'm- th My computer's just- Oh my god. All right, three, two, one, go. Slow mode, activate. The lightning comes down, rains from the sky, and I pray that I'm gonna hit every single unit. Or at least most of them, because there's just so many units spread all over the map in all directions. And oh no, that lightning might hit red. Oh, that lightning's gonna hit the red units. Oh, I underestimated the distance of the arc. It is selected as the red team. It shouldn't hit them too badly. It's raining lightning. It looks really cool. It's very cool looking, but it's just not enough, guys. Is the I don't know if I could ever do that much lightning. Have I ever mentioned to you the shocking amount of units on this map? They're everywhere. They're tucked into every nook and crevice. It's just a disgusting amount of units. And I'm hoping that I have accounted for all. No, I didn't look. There's some units in here. I didn't find them either. There's so many. And they're in so many different places. And I don't even know. I forgot these guys here. I didn't hit those guys. Those guys seem to be covered. I just... There's just so oh, this tree right here. Look, there's a four guys right here in this tree. I make sure they're taken care of. So many units, so many units. And I'm doing like 360 spins around the map to make sure that I've taken every blue unit into account. I can't do the rain from above. We tried. Oh, look, there's a little squire. Oh, isn't this the single squire that we should leave according to the story? Yeah, we're going to leave you alive. You're the single squire that survives every uh oh did i not get this little tower up here i don't think i did of course i didn't why would i get this tower why would i actually remember to hit everything that's impossible there's just so many units everything up here is taken care of all these guys taking care of this guy on the tree i'm gonna hit you make sure you're taking care of actually everyone on this whole spire has not been addressed there are too many units there are there are just too many units it's crazy tip top of the tree nope tip top of the tree looks clear okay I think, I think we have everything accounted for. Here we go. Big old explosion, slow-mo, leaving one squire alive in three, two, one, go. That's a lot of exploding units. Now, did King Philip die? Oh, wait, hold on. Our red units are going towards the single squire. Did he do it? Did we successfully blow up every other unit it looks good like it looks quiet peaceful not moving well we're gonna find out once our friends once our uh, fred george richard greg bob and randy defeat this one squire if it's victory i will declare victory on our god power use
We did it. We actually blew up every other unit. I didn't miss any. That's crazy. While going to Larry and Helga's house to thank them, a shouter who called himself Vulcan saw them coming and defeated them, saying that the clones were already in place and they must not mess up. Vulcan has clones of our new friends. Interesting, Vulcan. And who are your men here? Who are these dashing, handsome men? These swashbucklers. Vulcan coming in with a big old shout. Randy the clubber trying to club Vulcan, not doing a really good good job at all as as the fencer is just completely oh oh randy actually managed to get falcon good job frederick george greg richard bob and randy went to the mountain of crow to find crow and the shaman of crowism came out and told them that crow could help them and gave the crew a raptor named jupiter oh my goodness there's so many names and now we have a raptor added to our mix a raptor who did a 360 spin in the sky sideways because he's a raptor and why not fred and jupiter set off for the ancient city but they arrived when the annual hobbit execution was happening so they led the charge to free him why is there an annual hobbit execution so there's a there's Fred and Jupiter coming down the way as the hobbits go, no, we will not be executed. And the raptor's like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Imagine how much I love raptors in this game. Raptors are in my top five units. Absolutely in my top five. I love raptors. They're just the coolest things on the planet. Come on, Mr. Raptor. Get that hoplite. You can do it. Look at all those hobbits doing the good work. I love hobbits too. After months of fighting for hobbit rights in the ancient city, Jupiter and Fred lead the hobbits to destroy the government. Unfortunately, the hobbits need Crow's power to defeat the government why do you make campaigns with hundreds of units on the screen guys no computer on the planet none not a single computer can survive let's get moving and save our hobbits and destroy these armies back here so we're gonna go with the whole black hole destruction as they're all sucked in and some of them survived which is beyond shocking. That catapult, that ballista's done. This ballista's still alive. We're gonna take it down. And again, I mentioned the whole slow mo thing. Ballista getting shredded by black holes. Say good night. Over here, the 1700 hobbits are swarming. What is left of the shield guys and the hoplites? These hobbits, there's too many of them now. Now the hoplites, all 15,423 of them, are going to destroy the 17 shield units that are left because, uh, yeah, this is zombies. This is the Hobbit Zombie Plague brought to you by um, Fred and Jupiter and all the other Hobbit names because my god, the Hobbits never end. Oh my god, this Hobbit's got a big head. <laughs> got afro hair. What's up, buddy? Hey, our raptor friend's still alive. What's up, bud? How you doing, Jupiter? It seems that our Hobbits are now coming towards... Oh, there's one Hoppla here. Allow me. Allow me to try to end this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. How is he alive? Like, how have they not eaten him yet? Eat the hoplite! Guys, do we have an immortal hoplite? What, what, what's happening here? There we go. It took a mountain, a mountain of hobbits to be the hoplite. After defeating the local government, Fred and Jupiter became one, the raptor rider, and met up with the shaman to thank Crow, but they mysteriously fell unconscious. Here is Fred and Jupiter combined. Oh, that's not mysterious at all. Those are Da Vinci's musketeers. Not looking all too polite, not looking all too nice as the Shaman of Crowism goes down in one shot. George, who always felt the closest to Crow, sailed far away. But when he found Benny tied up on the board, they summoned the powers of Crow to help them defeat the pirate. So Benny has been captured. George the Hobbit is here. And now we have to use our gun powers to clean up the, uh, the people here. It only felt fitting that explosive barrels of rum were the answer to blowing up this massive army say good night to the pirates after destroying most of the pirates units george demanded he be made captain and he became captain george he and benny decided to return home captain george and benny say hello to our lovely captain and his uh, his first mate benny <laughs> this is quite the story captain george and benny returned to the shaman to praise crow but he too was not unconscious mysteriously as again da vinci's musketeers say what's up what is going on with da vinci's musketeers is da vinci making a move greg and randy travel to the dynasty faction hoping to learn their ways but the dynasty seemed frightened and attacked killing randy so it seems like all of our hobbit friends are splitting up 
and they're going in their different directions as they try to like recruit people to help them. And now we've got Greg and Randy off with the Dynasty faction. When Greg left the underworld, General Phantom had cursed him, and now Greg has become a swordcaster. Greg and Randy returned to the shaman to thank him and hopefully heal Greg, but mysteriously fell unconscious. So, um, what? But you mentioned that Greg became a, a, a swordcaster, but nobody mentioned that Randy became a tree giant. What kind of growth hormones are they feeding him in that undead realm? And mysteriously, the musketeers, Da Vinci's musketeers are mysteriously knocking them unconscious once more. Um, please tell me the tree giant makes it. Come on, dude. Come on. Smack him with that broccoli. Give him the broccoli smack. There you go. Uh, you got a couple. That's cool. When Greg revived Randy, he was somehow connected to his club and became a tree giant. Oh! General Phantom saw the Hobbit and thought about killing hobbits, not thinking about the tree giant. Well, now we know why you're a tree giant. You're just a tree giant one chapter too early. And here's um um Randy, and he's a hobbit. I'm con Is this like the prequel to that? I'm really confused. And I'm gonna help out and make sure the swordcaster gets destroyed. <laughs> Did the chapters get put backwards? Because I think this is the lead up to the next chapter. Richard and his new girlfriend, Linda the Valkyrie, and Linda's personal army traveled to Paris, where the police were killing hobbits. We're now with another of the hobbits. This is Richard Hobbit and uh, Linda. Apparently, Richard met Linda, and they fell in love. And now the police are killing hobbits like they do, because that's what they do in this world. Everything kills the hobbits, and the brawlers move in. Linda moves in, and Richard, here to save all of his brethren. I'm always amazed at how powerful the halberd units are. They're so, so strong. And I really want to use my barrel projectile and just blow them up, but I'm not going to. That's just rude. Except for this one. That one's mine. <laughs> oh, over here. Those two are mine. I got it. Don't worry. You survived? Take a bazooka to the chest. There we go. Oh, oh, there's two left. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Richard and Linda fought the military and police department of Paris run by the evil mastermind, Leon. They wanted to fight him for a hobbit rights. With a little bit of crow power, they got victory. Don't worry, Richard. We are here, and we are going to give you your hobbit rights. Hey, Da Vinci's here. Though it could be Leon. Doesn't matter. We're just going to give everyone a big old explosion now. Here we go, Richard. Have some crow assistance. <sighs> Everything flying in every direction. Like the berserkers try to jump into the air onto units. Like that was gonna work. That wasn't gonna work at all. And look, there's enough things for other people to do. It's not just a god crow doing all the hard work, though I will admit to doing the heavy lifting. They were victorious. Linda and Richard went to the Viking homeland and got married. Oh, congratulations. Hopefully the cupids can shoot them properly or else Linda seems to be killing the hobbits right now. This isn't good. I meant by killing the hobbits, I should kill the, kill the cupids. Well, they were married by killing Cupid. Yeah. <laughs> Richard wanted to have power at his fingertips. So he challenged the ruler of the area, Njorj, Bjorn's weird cousin. Richard trained to become a warrior and challenged Njorj. During the fight, a bolt of lightning struck down Njorj, making Richard ruler. A bolt of lightning, you say? Your wish is my command, but why only one bolt of lightning? Why not all? the lightning just paints a pretty sky picture with bright blue lightning because i love blue blue is my favorite <laughs> color as bjorn is blasted off into space <laughs> sorry buddy richard and linda went back to thank crow and the shaman but were also kidnapped by the unknown and it seems that richard is now a thane and linda's here and look it's da vinci's musketeers once again bob ventured back to Larry and Helga and asked them to teach him about fighting and they gladly accepted thinking of him as a child. They think he's a child, but we all know hobbits are full grown adults and they think like full grown adults. Larry, Helga and Bob went out to the fields to stop King Philip's crazy murder parties. With Crow watched from a distance, Bob learned a lot about fighting. So where, where's Crow? Oh, there's Crow. Hey, there's my knight. How you doing, buddy? And we got a couple of squires here and hopefully Crow can step in Oh no, no, Bob, Bob, don't go, don't follow Helga's example. Helga dies all the darn time. Don't follow Helga's example. Let me save you. A little bit, at least a little bit. Come on, Crow, you can do it. It's just a couple squires, dude. It's just, it's a single squire. I know Larry's potions can be a little confusing. You can do this. It's just Larry's, 
Uh, let me help. Oh, never mind. No need. The ground slash, a powerful technique. One day, on the way to practice, Bob fell asleep along with Larry and Helga. Oh, look, it's the Musketeers again. And the Musketeers are doing Musketeer things. What is in those bullets? Sleep darts? Inside the corrupted part of the blank regions, the kidnapped army fights his Falcon's clone and Sarge's clone. So our friends that were kidnapped are now fighting the clones of Sarge and Vulcan. It's why? Who brought them here to fight against the clones? Why make clones? Why not make the real Vulcan, the real Sarge? Is there a higher power above and beyond everything in control? I have just, I am only left with so many questions. I want to know who's behind all this. When they all appeared in the real world, Crow and the Shaman were there, but Jupiter split into Zeus and a Raptor. Jupiter was the Zeus turned into Raptor by Larry Fred and Jupiter's rider. Fred became a chieftain. Richard became Euler. In front of them were his clones of Sarge and Vulcan, all ready to destroy Crow's friends. This story is insane, and I don't know what's happening. And all I know is that that was a giant fight, and there's there's clones of Sarge and Vulcan, and the raptor turned into a god Zeus, and, and something turned into Euler, and now we've got a tree giant that was once a simple clubber, and a captain that was once a hobbit, and a sword castle that was once a hobbit, and Crow's here, and Helga's here, and Larry's here, and... <laughs> This is so insane. And then we got all of these guys back here, and I'm going to offer my own assistance because I just want to destroy some of these musketeers who've been killing all of my friends this whole time. You too. No, there we go. Ooh, sword in the chest. Big ouch. The shaman tried to explain that Vulcan was controlling him, but everyone was angry at him. Oh my god, there's a one-eyed Zeus, and that one-eyed Zeus is going to destroy the uh, shaman of cruelism because Vulcan is controlling the Shaman of Crozen. Property Brothers. The Property Brothers have found homes and jobs, but the brothers wish to defeat Vulcan once and for all. This smells like there's going to be a sequel. 